Hello everybody. I see that I am getting more and more subscribers from different countries. Thus, I have decided to introduce myself and the company I am working for. My name is Denis Oken and I am 37 and uh, I am a captain of one of the major Russian airlines which name is Globus together with the second airline of the seven group which name is Siberia. We are flying with the brand name of the seven airlines. Recently I received questions from Turkish guys. They were interested whether I am a Turkish pilot or not. No, I am Russian. Uh, I know that Okan is a popular show name in Turkey. I do not know how it sounds in Turkish, but Okan, as it sounds in Russian, is also a common name for Ukraine uh, from this country more than 100 years ago. My ancestors moved to Siberia seeking for a better life. My flying career started in 1996 when I started my education in a flying school and my career on a big jet began in 2003. I joined Sibaga Trans, one of the small Russian airlines of the moment. And I started my career on big jet as a first officer of Tupolev Kuban 54, very nice airplane. You may see the photos in the internet. In 2004, I joined Siberia Airlines, which was the second biggest airline at that moment. In a year, in 2005, my airline decided to start modernization of its fleet and ordered first 737s. Uh, they were 737-500s. Among others, I was selected uh, for promotion and was sent to Denver. And there in Denver, in United Flight Training Center, we learned to fly the classic generation of Boeing 737. So at the age of 25, I became the youngest first officer on 737 in my airline. And in a year, I was upgraded to the position of captain. And at the end of 2007, I became a flight instructor. Rather fast horizon, isn't it? But I don't forget that 737s were very new to my airline. So who was the first? This guy rises faster. In 2008, our owners, owners of Siberia, decided to continue with Airbuses instead of 737s and they closed the, pro the program of 500 modification and again they wanted to go to a char charter market and launch new airline which got the name of Globus and they put several Tupolevs from Siberia and two 737-400s and most of 737 pilots and me among them agreed to move to a new airline in August 2008, I, uh, we took our first NGs, and it was the time of the economical crisis in Russia, and our company got, was very close to get into trouble. Nevertheless, we survived, but Globus was reoriented to regular flying, regular flights, and the charter program was fully closed. So since that time, there have been no difference for a passenger both airlines, Globus and Siberia Airlines are S7 airlines for them. The only difference is in fleet, uh, we use 737s. At this moment, we have 19 737 NGs. We closed our classic generation program one year and a half ago. We will receive uh, several maxes in 2018. Uh, Siberia Airlines Airbuses 320, 90, and 21, and we have a couple of 767s. And recently, they announced the order of 17 in Briar, so 175 family, something like that. In 2009, I started working as a manager pilot. First, I held the position of a deputy wing commander, and in a year, I uh, became a senior flight instructor of our flight department. And I finished my office career very recent, uh, just about one month ago. 
uh, was uh, the position of the deputy director of flight operations. Here in Russia, I'm trying to promote a safety flying culture. For this reason, I write different articles about CRM and try to describe in common words uh, why the correct attitudes and behaviors are so important for safe flight operations. Also, I write blogs. Uh, the major one is in Russian, in which I put my articles and stories, my in-flight stories for the passengers and other pilots as well, because I describe this sort of in-flight situations, good and bad attitudes. And also I have an English blog, but I use it on, mostly I use it for training of my English language. So a couple of words about my office career, which I was finished a month ago. There were a lot of reasons for resigning, but in a couple of words, I didn't want to become a CEO at the age of 40. I really was faced with the necessity to select one of two options, so to continue my office career, which means uh, further uh, rise through the positions and less and less line, of course or just to resign or downgrade. So I prefer second option. So I'm on the 37 years old. It already has seven years of office experience. It's rather, it's rather big experience for such young pilot as me. As yeah, so of course, it wasn't a waste of time, but really I love flying, enjoy flying and teaching others. There are a lot of places in the world which I would like to visit and also there are a lot of friends which I want to meet. My office job didn't allow me a lot of chances of doing it and I was really upset this by this fact. So nowadays I'm flying as a captain of the best narrow body airplane ever and I'm very happy with this fact. I look forward to make some videos about our Gulf pilot job so stay tuned keep in touch and fly safe